Hey guys, so today is not one of my normal gaming videos. Actually, I was going to make this tutorial for a friend of mine because he doesn't have Skype and stuff and things, but then I decided that it would just be better to make it a full-fledged tutorial. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, so, I'm going to show you guys how to get uh, .pkm files from PokeSav or PokeGen and upload them to the Global ta Trade Station on your DS so you can get them from your computer to your DS. Now, uh, there is a website to do this. It is PokeGTS, GTS .us. You go to that website. Um, and you can either go to select Pokemon, and then you can make your Pokemon on the, on the website, but I'm not going to do that because I already made a Pokesab file. So, um, I'm going to go to 5th generation, and there, now you're going to find the Pokesab file. Uh, as you may imagine, this works for both 4th and 5th generations as long as you, uh, as long as you make sure to put the correct generation. Now I'm going to browse uh I have a folder for this. It is Pokemon and we're gonna put uh Gengar. That's what we want. We want Gengar. Uh then just push submit. Now uh now that that is submitted, you are actually you're you're good in all actuality. So we're going to Go over to the DS, and I'm going to show you what to do from there. Just one more quick note, guys. You need to be connected to a wireless internet connection on your computer to be able to do this, and it needs to be the same wireless connection that your DS is connected to. So if you don't do that, then this is not going to actually work. So just make sure that, that you're doing that. All right, guys, we're back. Um, sorry for the crappy quality. I'm not sure what's going on with my camera today, but whatever happens, happens, I suppose. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to, down to Nintendo WFD connection, or settings, when Nintendo Wi-Fi connection settings, um, then you're going to want to tap that, and you're going to either use one you already have, or just make a new one. I'm going to make a new one, uh, it's going to be a little bit weird for me, because I'm actually on my college campus, and it doesn't necessarily work, but I'm still going to go through all... I'm going to go through all of the stuff. We're just going to connect to this one here. Uh, I don't want to start, do a connection test. Uh, if things work, hopefully, you will actually be connected. Connection successful. Uh, that is very uh, misleading. So we're going to want to click the connection you just did. You're going to want to scroll down to auto obtain DNS and you're going to click no. And where it says primary DNS, you put in the number that it says on the Pokey GTS, which is going to be 2044529954. And then you're going to push OK. And the settings are correct. And then if you want to, you can test the connection again. It should be the exact same thing. You should have no problems. And, do to do, do. Oh, I have problems because my school does not like that. Alright guys, uh, we're back. I have, like, I just pushed back and it restarted the game. I went into my save file and I'm at a Pokemon Center. So we're going to go into the Pokemon Center. I'm just going to walk this way. Up, 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 to the GTS, then you're going to, you're going to just talk to the GTS lady, and save your game. And after that, whenever you guys go into the Global Tape Station, it should show up first thing when you get in there, but you need to make sure you have a full party, because if you don't, then it just does something weird with your party, so just make sure you have a full party when you go into the Global Trade Station, and you should get your Pokemon just fine.